people don't actually care when their data is leaked. They care when that leaked data is then used to do something bad against them. That, that delayed impact, right? And that's a real problem, right? I mean, if we don't care until we actually receive the consequences, until we actually get that feedback, it's too late at that point. Our data's out there, it's in the wild. We really need to figure out how to resensitize people to the underlying issues so that that, that threat is real, right? And not in a scary insurance salesman kind of way, but you know, people are famously bad at predicting the impact of things that are unlikely to occur, but really bad when they do occur, right? We really underestimate the impact of a data privacy breach with our information being shared until it actually occurs, and the impact is much bigger than what we would have expected once it happens. And I think figuring out how we protect people's data in a world where people are so willing to give that privacy up is a new challenge. It's a new challenge, not just for regulatory frameworks, but also for technology companies that are looking to go and solve for those challenges. And I think that's a challenge that we are very excited about taking head on. IBM Linux One and the secure service container technology we've invested a lot in with Linux One, really what we are doing is standing up and, and making a statement around these data privacy issues. And not to be overly dramatic, but the way that I put this to make it real to people as kind of a litmus test is, I mean, almost all of the cloud companies today, they, they have a lot of security layers in place that start by them talking about technologies, but eventually and inevitably, it always gets to your data is safe because as long as our people follow these regulations and these policies and the procedures and do what they're supposed to do, your data should never be at risk. And that's how we manage risk today in, in, the, in the world today. We wanted something better. We wanted a technology that could guarantee that that data was never at risk, that the privacy of our personal information was never at risk. And so we wanted, as a litmus test, to pose to the world, to the industry, if you as a service provider are servicing your customers and the FBI comes for a warrant for your data, for, for the data of one of your customers, would you physically be able to provide that data to the FBI under force of a legal warrant? If the answer is yes, your employees have access to your customer's data, full stop. And the reason for preventing that scenario is not because we're anti-FBI, it's not because we want the FBI to do a second step and have to go serve the warrant to the customer instead of the service provider and waste their time. We're very supportive of the FBI in their efforts. The real issue is if those employees of the service provider have access to that data to be able to provide it to the FBI under force of a legal warrant, they have access to that data on Saturdays when they're not supposed to be at work. They have, their credentials have access to that data. If a hacker, through social engineering techniques, get access to their credentials so they can go into the systems with elevated access administrator credentials. And that is a huge security vector and a security threat that we think needs to be addressed in this industry and hasn't got enough attention. And with secure service containers, we have developed a technology that protects against those elevated access credential attacks to protect the privacy of the data of, those, of, that, of that customer data within the service provider context in a way that is unmatched by any other technology in the industry today. And that's, that, that's the investment we're making to make a contribution in the space, to, to help us take a step forward, to protect the privacy of individuals. And I hope that more companies follow.